Uh, so you head forward into the north room, and as you walk into there, you notice that uh, you pass through the stone archway just like all the other doors. And walking forward, you can see that this room is completely empty and devoid of any features. It just has the stone floor and, like, bits of, like, stone chips on the ground and stuff like that. The chanting you hear is still going on, by the way. Uh, there are two other exits Why to this Why does magic? Um, as you pass through the doorway, mm-hmm. you detect a faint aura of magic. But it's it's too spread out for, for you. this room? Like, in this room? Well, it, as you pass through, it's too the magic is too spread out for you to detect and discern exactly where it's coming from. Hmm. Um, but anyway, you're in this room. It's totally featureless, except for, like, the stone floor and stuff like that. There is an exit to the north and an exit to the west, as well as the exit you guys just came into. West? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Okay. You step to the west, moving into this room. Uh, moving into this room, you can see that it has um, two uh, spherical grooves in the center of the room are carved out of this, of this room. It's just, it's odd because it's just stone floor and then there's two spherical like recesses carved out of the center about five feet in diameter each. And they're about 10 feet apart from each other right in the center of the room. Other than that, it's just the same ceiling as you've been seeing before. There's only one exit from this room and it's to the west on the other side of the wall. Okay. Can I peer closer? I remember that it was a thing. Yeah. You know, like peer, like look closer into the into the room and stuff like that. Looking closer, you just see bits of stone that's chipped and ruined over the ages, some dust, things like that. Um, the grooves are completely smooth. That's all you can tell. What is the stargate? Can, can we tell from looking whether yes. or not these indentations very, clearly stargate contain liquid at some point, like blood, or that they held like a big sphere of some kind? They seem to have been completely dry. You don't notice any kind of liquid or wetness to them. Okay. They're not stained. Or erosion. What about any discoloration or scratches that would come like if they had a giant sphere or gem or stone that was put in there? Nothing no. along those lines. All right, so I believe that this is going to be somewhat oh, geez, symmetrical. So there's the entrance over here, which is probably going to be to that yep. room, the room, the two eyeballs in the center room. So we should just continue going this way. Yeah. Which is why Nick got yeses for both, because yeah. they both led to... Because I figured sure. they should connect yeah, into one central yeah, yeah. chamber. So should we head back and then go yeah. north? Let's do yes, it. Yes, north. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. So, you, so you head to the west, walking into the other room. This story. room, like the one directly symmetrical to it on the other side, is also completely mm. featureless. Okay. And then uh, stepping into the next room, so there's one exit to the south from here, mm-hmm. and then, of course, the exit you came out of. Stepping and <clears throat> going to the south. Well, I'm just like, do we peer into the south? That was the table room? Yes. Yeah. Okay, precisely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So north it is. I'm so lost. I um, can't, I can't oh, there is none? There is none. Okay, so it's just a circle. Oh, so this it's, side it's just doesn't a big square. continue so, on. So basically, now that you've mapped it out, you yeah. realize that basically what you had is the stone steps going down. Mm-hmm. There's the whirlpool room right here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Altar room, or yeah. not altar room, uh... Portal? Uh, no, Teaching uh, room. Teaching room. Teaching room. Okay. Table room. Yeah. Then there's the two eyeball rooms on either side. Yeah. With the candles. Featureless, featureless, mm-hmm. and then the groove room. Yeah. That, in the passes, that passes between them in the center. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. There's no other stone entrances or anything along those lines. Something like that. What is the skill for searching for secret doors? That would be detect secret doors. No. And then um, the there should be there should be a skill. No, there isn't. That we've had this conversation oh, multiple right. times. DCC doesn't have a secret door skill. It's, it's uh, fine traps. That's right. okay. All right. So I'm going to uh, table. Have my my buddies hang tight while I find traps. Okay. That is a nineteen on find traps. Okay. Uh, in this room, you're searching. Yeah. Uh, the two circle room. Which room are we in? The empty you, on the right. Empty. On you the guys left. should be on the empty on the right. Yeah. Okay. So you feel around in the store, like rubbing your hands along the edges and stuff, trying to listen for where the chanting is, so you can get a sense of it that way. Yep. And you find no levers or anything along those lines. All right. Then we're gonna go into that central area yeah, with the, circles. the I, circles. Are you just feel... gonna systematically check every room for yep. secrets? I feel right. like the two circles room might be it. Yeah, this two circles room seems like it's. More obvious because it's got two circles, which is like eyeballs. Go ahead and roll me um, uh, find traps. Roll with advantage, and we'll just take the better one. We'll say that works for all. You get of the them. plus six. Oh no, plus four. 
Oh, oh advantage. Well, With advantage, that nice is one. a 32. It just truncates it easily. You find no secret doors, and you're searching the entire complex. That takes quite some time. Merrick, your enlarged spell is about to run out. You need to decide what you're going to do about that steel door. The Whirling Pool. Oh, oh my gosh, that would be amazing. In comparison <gasps> to the pool. Oh, uh, the door will... Fall but what if Lauren gets the more powerful from the steel um, door offering? No, the steel door would like disrupt the swirling and thing. Because you're like, put it in one of the empty rooms. Oh, oh come on, put it in the pool. Put it in the pool, dude. It'd be splashing goop everywhere, like mess everything up. It'd be amazing. Do it. In all of this no, time, no, we don't, no, we don't whatever. get the sense that the chanting is actually coming from the pool, do we? No, it seems to be coming from everywhere at once. Okay. You throw the door out in one of the empty rooms, it grows back to size and clangs with a clatter on the floor. The loud the loud clatter rings out throughout the entire hall. How could you not have thrown it in the pool? That would have been sucks. such a great way to trigger the whole, <laughs> why okay. would you even do such a thing? Babe? Okay. I'm going to go to the groove room. So we have the two circles. What is the... There, uh... and we have two circle rooms here. So we have to figure out how to do those. Can you cover your eyes, light the candle there, and then light the candle here. The candles covering your were snuffing out as soon as you lit them. Yeah, you they, can't they don't them. stay lit. Well, you have to think what was that cloth probably meant for? Probably it, to cover your but eyes. But when I covered my eyes, it still went out. That's because Nick was looking at it. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, look at you with your scientific understanding of human sacrifice. Look at I the wizard understanding, understanding things. Damn. All right. All. all right. After Mary reveals all of these truths, I will now return to the, an eye to the room open. with my candles that are now no longer purple, which is unfortunate because this might be a problem. To uh, which room do you return? So first of all, we return to the teaching room because teaching should always come before sacrifice. <laughs> it's, it's obvious the room wasn't meant for sacrifice. You, you're pretty sure it was used for whatever. It's okay. used for tables. So you return to that room. As you step across the threshold of yes. that room, you feel a slight vibration and notice that the candle that you assume belonged in this room originally has turned back to its purplish color. Oh, purple. Per 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 perfect. Do you want to take so. the skeletons out of there too? No, really. Uh, all right. <laughs> they were supposed to be here. They, they were meant to be here. Yes. So I will put belong. the candle there. Mm -hmm. I will make sure no one is looking. I will put the blindfold on. We close the curtain. Yes. You guys close the curtain? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I light the candle. Okay. You light the candle. As soon as you light the candle, you're like looking at the, through the blindfold, you know, right. just basically you can't really see anything. And then this small pinprick of white light just works in the center of the blindfold and then worms its way out and you slowly realize that even with the blindfold on your eyes you can see perfectly stupendous yeah so like you're looking at the room and then as you look down at the candle you see that when you lit it um instead of the candle lighting and having like a flame or a light come from it it's the same effect but instead of producing light it produces darkness yes and as it's lit darkness oh. lights and pours out of the candle and begins to fill the room around you yeah um Whoa. as it pours out of the candle you feel as if it's like somewhat liquid as the darkness like rubs up against your your legs and stuff as you're sitting there yeah. and it slowly begins to fill up and get higher and higher around your chest Ew. and and waist can i feel it with my hands like yeah, it, it feels, feels like water it feels kind of watery and viscous okay um, and it slowly begins to fill up, and it's rising up to around your neck at this point. You, I would like to... You guys are on the outside, right? Yeah. yeah. You don't you don't notice anything because it's covered by the curtains. Be before I even get to like pass my belly button, like, I we like don't to see like the light radiating out. To walk out. Or? Yeah. Okay. Someone's got to like the other can though. Okay. So as you as you walk out of the room, you, you pass through the curtains. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you open the curtains, the your ability to see through the blindfold ends right. instantly. And you like blink for a sec and and turn around. Do you pull the blindfold off or anything? Yeah. So you guys because I can't see with the yeah. Right? You guys see him open the curtains and you turn around and all you see is the candle in the middle of the room and it's it's not lit at all. And Daddy Roll just pulls the blindfold off and he's holding the curtain open like this. Oh, uh, what happened? It's just Did back you? to how it was. Because we were looking at it. We're not supposed to look at the candle. Why are we? Why do you look at the candle? Can we not look at? Can I leave the room without looking at the candle? Oh yeah, if that was your intent. Yeah, but you said you pulled the blindfold off, so I was. When I got out, oh, yeah, I can I, see. I just, I just misunderstood yeah. your intent. <laughs> oh okay. Anyway, yeah, with the, but with you the guys aren't looking. Curtain. Curtain. No, yeah, yeah no, they're not looking. Not. The whole point is that we're not looking. The whole thing. So you guys open the curtain and walk out and drop the curtain behind you. Yeah. and The blindfolds off. Yeah. You can't see what's going on in the room now that the curtain. Right. Closed. We don't care because we know that Lauer's symbol is too closed eye. Yeah. It's, it's all about not all looking. Right. Can we return to the central two circle room? No, no. We go to the other room first. Like the other candle. Okay. 
You pass through the other room, and you want to do the same process yep. as before? All right. So you put the blindfold on, it's you, right? Yeah. The same exact thing yep. happens, and yep. it begins to fill up. Do you exit when it gets to, like, your chest? Like, or? belly button. I don't know. Once belly, it gets to the chest, not, you not may even, not be able to escape. Not even that. Okay. Yeah. So you just walk out, you take the blindfold yep. off. All right. Stuck. All right. You guys don't look at the rooms. The curtain's closed. Oh, closed yeah. Up. So okay. now we want to go back to the, to the, the central room with the two balls. Uh, it's just two empty grooves in the floor. Damn it. <laughs> All right. I think what needs to happen is that two of us need to be doing. <laughs> no, this. I don't want to do it. You have to. Because I don't want to. Do, because do what? we have to I'm both so be confused. in the room at the same time and like no. handle simultaneously and no, stay in there. No, I, I don't want to do it. We have to. And that will let Joven, me do what? Joven is the chosen one. He's the one who has to encounter the big. I'm, I'm so confused. I don't want to do it. So <laughs> the only way, the only way to make it happen is for the person to, to stay make, in oh, the room with the candle. To make what happen? To activate the magic. I don't want to do it. Is that what I think this room will do? Will I? I will it activate? I One. Well, do. you have to stay in there with the darkness. All right. All right. And should we? Moment. Should we light the darkness candles, Netro? Oh, require roll. You have to, Merrick. The alternative is for Joven to do it, and Merrick. you face the evil. It may be harmful, but it's the only way. It is the only yes. way. <laughs> no. Netro has spoken. Terry not long in, no. Terry not Merrick, long in the Merrick. realm it takes you to. Netro says we must no. do it and that it will definitely not be harmful. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's your choice. You can either be the one in the room when the portal opens, or you can be the one opening the portal. Do you want to be the key master or the gatekeeper? Merrick, I'm the only one who can enter the realm it, it opens. I don't like either of these options. You're going to need Why? this bandana. Rick, I believe in you. All right. <laughs> you will have my blessing. All right. We both stay in this room. Of course, he totally won't because I'll be And gone. we synchronize by singing the ode to joy so that we're exactly <laughs> in the same It doesn't exist in this world. <laughs> okay, like, whatever. Singing the ode we're, to We're going to hum Daydreal. a well-known ditty yeah. that is known to all the residents of the year. You, you hum yeah. him to Netro. Or, or, yeah. Oh, yes, no. Oh, no. We, 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 sing, we sing the 17 verse chorus of Parallaxis annual like celebration <laughs> which is like super long no. <laughs> and I hit I hit I no. yeah I give him the banana and I go Merrick okay ready we both walk simultaneously so ready. Joven is gonna go into this room and stand there while we and when we get to the second chorus we light the candle simultaneously which one of you is in which room <laughs> You get to choose. Which room do you want? So oriented from as if you were looking <laughs> at I don't from the staircase, Merit. that's looking straight ahead. Do you Which want room? lecture room or sacrifice room? Yeah, do you want the left room or the right room? You are the I one who you knows of sacrifice. Basically, you can choose the room with the skeletons or the room without the skeletons. I want to choose the room without skeletons. Skeletons for me! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Joven, where are you standing sense. while this whole thing is I will, You should stand here right between the two stairs. I will go up here between the two whatever they it are it would be awesome were they holes in the floor or were yeah. they okay just grooves in the floor weird I, I don't, as soon as I, we I finish, can't picture this big below. gigantic eyeballs will appear in there so it's, it's pretty it's pretty like it's a stone floor and then there's just a spherical kind of carving okay out. half a sphere yeah yep <laughs> okay so you guys okay. are in each of your rooms. Yes. You've synchronized with the with the chant. Yes. Sir. And then you you basically finish at the same time and light the candle. Yep. All right. And we stay in there this time. Okay. As I've described before, um, the darkness begins to pull out and build around your waist and chest. You let it go all the way up yep. this time. It's yep. filling up. Yep. We gotta what stay do I do? There. We gotta stay there. We gotta stay there. We we've agreed to this. We can't communicate now. We're on three different rooms. Yeah. Nobody can hear. So we agree that no. Yeah, no one can hear you scream. No. There, no in one, space. No. no one can hear you scream in Lyra's temple no one can hear you scream so the the water is kind of viscous and stuff Merrick and yeah. Daedriel and it fills up around your neck so it eventually crosses over your eyes yeah. at the last minute I take a breath in case it actually in is in case it actually is so as it crosses over you hold your breath Merrick do you hold your breath yes okay you both hold your breath as it passes over you and then uh suddenly like you're you're just in this like black darkness um Joven you're mm -hmm. standing in the central room, and after a few moments, in the center of each of the spherical things, so like it's a carving, yeah. partway above floating in the air, appear two little spherical orbs that are black. And they just pop into existence and hover there for a minute. And then they slowly okay. start to grow slightly bigger on either side of you. Oh, okay. I will stand between them. <laughs> Ooh, and absorb their power. Yes. Like, no! Come to me! So, <laughs> you two... Um, 
uh, for a moment, you two feel as if you are not yourselves. <gasps> you is he taking our souls into himself and absorbing us as part of his power? Oh, He's going to level up. <laughs> You feel like you've transcended <laughs> your body somehow, as oh. if your spirits have been astrally projected into some other foreign being. Oh, yes. Whoa. No. We're going to become super Joven. We we're going to form Voltron. Oh, I know. Let's <laughs> you go. We're going to be part of the Gato statue. So um, it's weird yes. because your body suddenly feels very cold, and you feel very slick and serpentine in your like form and Ooh. function. Um, you feel as if you're a worm or something serpent-like swimming in a viscous fluid. Ooh. Do I feel like the worm that was in my eye, or do I feel like a worm like a dragon, like with a Y? Um, oh, with, like the worm that was in your eye. In oh. fact, the similarities are almost chilling. Ooh. So, um... Ooh. Mm, eye fluid. As you're, like, as you're, like, swimming around inside this, you feel you're, you're just in blackness, like you can't see, and then these little tiny points of, like, white light start to appear uh, in, the, in the sea around you. And then you slowly, like surface a bit and as you surface you can look into this long deep dark cavern that has this dark pool that goes on for what seems to be miles um the pool has little like flecks of white light in it so that look kind of like stars and stuff like that you're both seeing this exact same thing and looking around you can see that the walls of this chamber wherever you can see them which seems to extend on it for a while are purplish and kind of um flesh-like in nature yes oh, yeah. uh, as you, like, look around for a minute, you hear this, like, low thoom go through your head, and you instinctively know you need to, like, swim beneath the waves. And this feels, like, amazing as you, like, dive back down into the black water because you can you can see. For the first time, you can really see. Oh, 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 oh my, you can see. And as your eyes truly open at this time, you realize that every single white point of light in this sea is a worm. And then as you look around, there's this mass of, like, worms just swimming all around you. And you're part of this mass. Yeah. Just, like, this whole thing. <laughs> and you swim deeper and deeper into this mass of worms. And you pass worm by. Friends. And you can see that these worms are long and purplish. And then each of the worms has a massive eyeball on the back of its head. And Ooh, when, can I look back and see my own long purplish body? Yeah, as you, you kind of can now yeah. as you look at and I go with it, remembering the one time Garn let me go to a rave, mm -hmm. and I was like, just, oh. just let, I'm just like going with it. As you as you look into the eyeballs of the other worms, you notice that swimming in those eyeballs are a whole bunch of other worms that also have eyeballs on the back of their heads. Oh, and as you look deeper, trippy. you see that each of those worms also has worms swimming, uh, and so on and so on ad infinitum, forever and onwards. I look for any worms that are in tie-dye oh, shirts. Oh, man. No, there aren't it's like a laser shirts. show. Yeah, I know. I'm just totally getting into it. Oh, dude. Um, yeah, dude. So you swim you swim deeper and deeper until eventually you get down to the very bottom. And as uh, you descend to the bottom, you can see that there is this odd, like, purplish, fleshy mass at the very bottom of this, of this ocean-like pool that you're in. And it seems to be... It's the mother worm. Viscous in nature and stretches out for miles and touches every worm in this pool. And you can see that it has a whole bunch of miniature, like, pinnacles that go off of it and wiggle out into the ether and such. And then upon it are not Whoa. one eye, but two. And as you two turn your way towards the eyes, um, you see both of the eyes open wide and peer at each of you in tandem. Nice. And if you glance, like, over, you notice that there's another worm, like, right next to you. <clears throat> and somehow you know that it's your partner yeah. looking. And as the two eyes meet, um, you hear this voice in your head that says, To my followers, to those who would close their eye, the way is open. And then, Joven, on either side of you, you see... Um, the two black, like, swimming orbs suddenly, like, rotate around and then slowly turn into, um, slowly rotate around and then slowly turn into this gigantic, like, white sphere. Like, they roll away they and then turn into these They merge spheres. into one sphere, like, or they, they're two spheres? So it's like a, no, so it's like a black swimming sphere on either side of you. It's mm -hmm. grown a little larger. Mm -hmm. It's probably about, like, 15 feet in diameter now. And then suddenly it, it swims, yeah, it's, it's gotten quite large. And it swims around, suddenly it becomes white. And then it just spins for a while and becomes wider and wider and then melts down so there are pools that rest in the spherical recesses within the room. And they're like they're pure just, white? Yeah, they're just pure white pools. And then they, they wiggle for a little bit and then become completely clear. 
And as you glance into these pools with your green eye, mm -hmm. you can see, you can you can see everything. Like looking down, you can see like a whole bunch of different scenes. Like there's scenes of like armies clashing against each other. There's scenes of like mm -hmm. these two gods that are battling each other, one swinging one sword at another. There's a scene of a bunch of these extraplanar beings sitting at this dinner table, and then one of them stands up and stabs a sword into another one. There's a scene of this one god that's bent over with crooked crow feathers coming out of it, missing an arm. There's a scene of another one of another one of this bestial god with like striped yellow eyes chasing down these like mortal beings who are running and fleeing in terror. There's another scene of like a couple of mortals like doing deals and stuff far away across the aquamarine. There's a scene of like this vast open city with a dome circular white top on top of it. It's just like it, it flashes by quicker and quicker and quicker. Mm -hmm. And then eventually uh, the pools stop flashing on either side of you and they stop for a minute and they both hum. And then both of the pools like evaporate a bit and disappear and while away. And then you hear the rushing water from the whirlpool. It slowly mm -hmm. slows to a stop. And then both of you, as you're looking at this creature, your eye suddenly like your head suddenly like reels back a bit. And you realize this entire time you've been holding your breaths. And as you knock your head back, the blindfold gets knocked off of both of your eyes. And you go, <gasps> and you breathe. And you look down and you notice that the, that the candle is like snuffed out in front of you. <sighs> so, a couple of I, things. I, I, I the, collect myself and head to the pool. So the room is, again, as it was. Yes, as before. And the candles are just burned a little bit. They're still little stubs. Yep. I take my stuff and my bandana right with me. You're just going to take him? Yeah. The candle turns colors again. Sure. The other thing? Joven saw everything, right? Mm -hmm. Does everything include the secrets of his entire journey from his childhood to here and all the secrets that Merrick has never revealed about those things about his past that he's lost? It definitely did, but remembering it is the trick. Okay. Because there might have been moments, because usually when you see infinite things, sometimes there's moments that catch in your memory, right? Because mm -hmm. it's like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, I always wondered why Uncle Eddie blah, blah, blah. So like, I might like, see something that would spark a, a memory of yeah, something I saw. If any of that. those did, they might have lodged in your subconscious, but hmm. those might come up later. Yeah, because so, everything includes all kinds of like backstory secrets and like the secret to this feeding uh, alloy and all, yep. all kinds of things. Yeah. That's right? correct. Yeah. However, one thing you all notice now, Mm -hmm. The rushing water has stopped, and it's very, very obvious the chanting is coming from one location now. Ooh, what the, the center that? room? Yeah. Okay, I the whirlpool. Room? Begin my hobble going to where Joven was. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's where it is. Like where I am. No, no, no. no. I don't want to go to that room by myself. Go to that room by myself. Are you going fucking right crazy? Here. I'm going to you. Oh, I'm going this way. Then I keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I, you eventually hear, all meet up you with each other. We end up in the pool room. We end up you hear a slow, steady <laughs> clunk of a staff, and then a, okay. a fast. Because you get there, and he's gone already. Right? Yeah. Like, oh, oh god! Oh I god! I also keep oh the god. banana. I'm gonna keep it around the neck because it's stylish. Sure. Cool. So you can see that the pool itself um, has stopped whirling, and it's yeah. just a completely like clear. Uh, pool now and as you look into it you peer down and it seems like the pool um, opens up onto this this stone entrance like this it like it seems like a portal that opens up onto this stone room with a wide stone entrance on either side and in this one when you're peering through the portal into the next room you can see that there are two torches on either side that are brightly lit you can hear the chanting coming out of the pool itself it just covers you wait is this in the pool yeah the you can, you're, you're looking at this oh so like we would have to pool. And jump down. And walk that's, in. that's what you'd assume. It seems a little weird. Mm. And then and you can see you that it again? carved along the walls the so are the exact same eyeball symbols that you've seen on the men's cloaks outside, uh -huh. and the exact same symbols you've always seen walking down the steps when you transition between uh, Lear and Maciatica when you use the keeper's doors. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I looked at Joven, believing that it is because of his bravery that he should go first into the pool of water. And I will bravely go first <laughs> into the pool of water. All right. You're going to, like, climb over the edge? Yeah. Okay. So you dip your foot in, and you your foot touches, and, like, this white beam of light, like, goes and shines up a bit where your foot dips into the pool. Yes. Yeah, that's good. So it, it knows like the touch of a away. true god. Uh, see, it begins. 
<laughs> no, I am I'm Netro's conduit. Like I am bathed right, in Netro's okay, okay, enchanted okay. aura. It was just it was just a little bit of a weird way to say it. Yeah. See, he'll say that for a little while, and then pretty soon it's gonna be just it's just me. Yeah. Netro. <laughs> so you slip into the pool. Yes. Okay. You slip into the pool and go and slip through, and it's weird because you're going downward. Mm -hmm. But as you go downward, you suddenly right yourself again in transition. Oh, okay. So it's like it's like imagine if you were like stepping through portals in a game of portal. You know how you like to oh it's, right. so so it's like a so, flat surface and then inside the portal it's like this yeah yeah so, when so you're, you're like transitioning whoa, and, you, and then you're when he breaks right the surface right of the boat cool, he's cool. standing straight yes yeah. these are the doors. awesome yeah, exactly yeah. so you're standing there and you're standing in front of the entrance that you saw in the pool and as you look behind you there is a circular portal on the wall that's shimmering white and you and, can see your friends beyond it. and we can ah. see joven standing yes upright in there yes all right he it's looks fine so problem. yes it's safe yes you we, both step we through. dive in okay so you both like step through into the portal and are in this stone room yep. or in this room with the large pillar and you can feel the chanting getting louder and louder yeah. and uh as you're as you're standing there for a minute you're like you know looking around at the burning torches mm -hmm. all of you give me an intelligence check all right, bonuses. 24. Plus. Well, I can't beat that. That is a... 18. 16. Okay. Uh, Tell me what the wizard knows. No, you all, you all got it. All right. So Boom. you step through, and then you think you, you notice out of the corner of your eye this brief, like, shimmer of white light, like somebody else dipped their hand in the pool. And you all like whisk around suddenly and turn around, and on the other side of the pool you see Datho. They're smiling, standing on the other side of the portal. Ooh, wait, what? Yep, you remember the halfling leader of the keepers? Yeah, who I thought I oh, was oh, oh he's Dathos. Oh, okay, but, yeah, but they but they ran sense. out and escaped before that whole thing went down. Oh, they got out the front door. Yeah, they did get out. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So he's standing behind you, looking at the portal, and he waves, and then the portal in front of you. Winks out of existence. Oh, Psh, it's all good. We'll just kill Lauer wait, and wait. So he's he's outside the pole. Yeah, and we're now in the pole, looking at this portal. Yeah, but he's on the other side, and he and like you see him for just the briefest moment, mm -hmm. and then he waves, and the portal closes before we get through. No, after you've after gone we got through. through. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. So we're trapped this is, in this, this other is, world. Yes. Oh, okay, that's fine. I thought we yeah, were trapped whatever, in we're the good. interim so, world where it's like... Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> you, you are in baggage claim. Forever. You're stuck, yeah. <laughs> it's like, so there's a brief shimmer of light, and then it shuts off entirely. Well, all right. So uh, what do we so see So what's in remaining? Here? Like a blank wall? Is it's, there, it's, just like a blank, it's just a blank stone carved wall. That's it. Interesting. Okay. Carved? Carved with what? Uh, so like there's, the there's, no, so sorry. So there's like stone brick in front of you. And then you look at behind you. It seems that this is like some sort of a cave wall that was just partially carved and chipped away at, as they were building this. So it's mm -hmm. just like a, a root, a, like a uncarved, unworked cave wall that the portal was just hanging in and it's disappeared. But the portal, the, the purple lights are on, right? There aren't any purple lights. There's two torches oh, on either side okay. of the, on either side of the archway that you can walk through. So we can see normally. Yes. It's not like the oppressive darkness of the other no. place. So All right. He was either yes. there the whole time, or he managed to get past Phi, or the portal that we walked through could have been like from more than one place. Yeah. I don't it just seems odd none of us saw him up until that last yeah. moment. Yeah. It does All seem right. pretty odd. Maybe he was. Maybe he was feigned death and he was disguised as one he of the skeletons. He was one of the skeletons. Yeah, I know, right? He's made of two skeletons. Oh. Ugh. That's two skeletons tricky. with an overcoat. That's yes, tricky, that's Dato. Right. Either way, we found <laughs> ourselves out of like pocket dimensions. I'm not too worried about the yeah, tiny cave. Yeah, happen. I know. All right, so Plus, I have my stones in the bow. We can go anywhere. We're gonna you know, go keep back on, to, like, keeping on. I'm gonna that's right. And be like, like, hey, can you walk towards back? the? Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta chanting. talk to you about the egg at some point. The Faberge egg. Yeah. Did I, I didn't tell anyone we had the egg. Oh. No. Oh. No. I didn't believe you did. No, no. I thought you showed it off. No, I don't want anyone to know we have the egg. Oh. Because that I don't realize no, I right. you did. Okay. No, because we No, you totally did because because um Yeah. Remember when I asked like, you what was going on and you showed the egg and Oh like, that's ah. right. Yeah, 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 that's right. Because originally I didn't because I didn't want them to think it was my fault that right. the big dark goop monster was yeah. killing us. Yeah, but then when Fly showed up, I was like, oh yeah, yeah. He yeah. was like, dude, what's happening? And then afterwards yeah. it was like, Yeah, I know you took something. So what yeah. was the what was the what was the risk that we took to talk? Yeah. Okay. It's cool. I might yeah. have something for it. So the chanting grows louder in front of you, mm -hmm. and you guys 
head on to the next room. Yep. Yes, we do. Joe and Eric how do you, set, ride in second. Ride in shotgun. How do you want to approach this? Do you want to talk? Or do you want to... I'm pretty uh, sure there's no sort of uh, reasoning I can I can do with them. I think we pretty much invaded their inner sanctum. You're going to dehumanize them to make this easier? No, it depends on what we see first. It depends show, on what we see. Okay, but right. you've already I mean, told us that this is the right. this this is the the pre ritual yes, for human they sacrifice. Are sacrificing something. So. And if this is, we have try. very little time to Let's waste. Try and convince them they are first. essentially non human at this point, oh. having forsaken their their brethren. Are they always non human then? Plus, if this sure. is like Temple of Doom, I want to whatever see you got to tell yourself, Mary. Like, an interesting whatever you got to tell yourself. Whatever lets you sleep at night. Sentiment, Joven. Very interesting. I'm just excited to see what's going keep, on. All right. What we Wisdom in this it. case is action. Yep. And that's what we'll pick up next week. Okay. All oh. right. Figured you would do that. Just 